Hey guys, Ernie here, and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. If you use alcohol stoves on the trail, one of the reasons is probably because you're able to save weight. So when it comes to how much fuel you use, and of course also how much you bring, you want to be as precise as you can be. Stay tuned, and I'm going to show you guys how I mark my bottles to make sure I always know exactly how much alcohol I have and how much I'm using. Thanks for watching. So you can use pre-marked bottles like a Vargo bottle that I have. It works very well. It's got increments of half an ounce and a full ounce, and it really works great. The issue is, is it's fairly large. It holds over eight ounces of alcohol, and often I don't want to use that much space in my pack. I don't want to bring that much alcohol. So what if you have a smaller bottle but no markings? Well, I can show you guys how to fix that. So here's what you're gonna need. This is the small fuel bottle. I just got this from Trail Designs, and it doesn't have any marks on it, so I'm gonna put marks on it. You need something to be able to measure a known quantity. I'm gonna use one ounce. I just use this little measuring cup here. It's got one ounce and two ounce. It also has the half ounces, but we're gonna use full ounces, like I said. Some alcohol here, this is just heat. And a Sharpie, preferably a fine point Sharpie like this, which is how you're gonna make your marks. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this alcohol and we're gonna measure out one ounce of alcohol. And there you go. Next thing we'll do is get our fuel bottle and we'll pour in that one ounce of alcohol. Now let me get you all a little closer. You can see what we're gonna do next. Now you wanna let this settle out and you'll be able to see the level where one ounce of fuel is. We just let it settle out. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put a little mark right there, just like that. Not perfect, just a little mark. Now I'm gonna add another ounce of fuel. You know what's next. Let it settle out and put a little mark. That marks a lot better. You can always go back, guys, and erase, but I'll show you guys, it turns out just fine. You know what to do? Let's just make it go up from here. You just want to get something that you can use as a straight edge. I have this little piece of black here that I can wrap around, okay? I'm trying to do this so y'all can see. And you're just going to mark a nice line, just like that. And you're gonna go all the way up. Now I was trying to make this pretty for y'all, so I went ahead and remarked everything over here. And all you gotta do is get some acetone and just use the acetone and it will take that permanent marker away. Just like that and maybe try to clean this up a little bit there you go this is not going anywhere permanent but if you use this acetone it'll go right away and now you have markings one two three four five ounces of alcohol in this little bottle so some might say this is obvious and yeah it is absolutely obvious I agree but sometimes you just don't think of the obvious until somebody shows you how to do it now you can make half ounce markings as well. I tend not to. I can pretty much guesstimate between the two ounce marks if I want to use half increments, but it's up to you. All you got to do is follow the same procedure, but instead of using a full ounce at a time, just use a half ounce at a time. Often anything that makes your life easier on the trail also makes your life more enjoyable on the trail. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. It's pretty straightforward, very simple, but very effective. And I've been using this technique for years. I'm starting to try to put together some of these really quick videos, just quick tips for you guys. And this is something I thought of. So I went ahead and made a video today. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up down below. Really helps spread things across YouTube for me and helps tremendously, guys. So do that for me if you can. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button. If you want to be sure you never miss a video, hit the ding dong bell and you'll be notified as soon as I let out any new videos. It's getting pretty hot here in Louisiana. Starting to stay indoors a little bit more, but still having a lot of fun. As always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.